When a child is in a mental health crisis, parents who just want to wrap that kid in comfort are sometimes forced to send their child out of state because the help they need can't be found in Colorado. Noosh Roy has that story. Kids in crisis are not getting the help they need in Colorado so often. So one in four kids sitting in the inpatient unit at Children's uh, is up against an out of state placement. That healthcare providers are feeling defeated. It makes you feel like you're not good at your job because you can't give these parents and their children what they absolutely deserve. Heidi Baskfield with Children's Hospital Colorado said over the last decade, Colorado lost a thousand beds for youth mental health care. This is happening as more kids are coming in sicker. So these children are being sent out of state for care often by themselves. When you have other siblings at home, when you have to keep your job to be able to pay for the services that your child needs, and you're gonna have to be separated from them potentially across the other side of the country, these conversations are horrible. They're horrible. Our, our, our son struggled with um, serious depression and suicidality. Democratic Representative Daphna Michelson Janae knows what it's like to fall through this crack. There still wasn't anything in state where we felt he could both be safe and educated. She's sponsoring a bill aiming to close the gap in care that also highlights the pitfalls of our mental health care system, like the lack of care across the board, which is why, if approved, the bill would fund a new neuropsych facility with 16 beds. 16 beds? We can't do this because let me tell you, we are sending away 60 to 70 kids a year. They explained those 60 to 70 kids aren't going at the same time. There's um, ebb and flow. It would also fund an additional 30 beds around the state for continued care. But staffing that is a massive challenge. It's not for a lack of trying or even a, uh, investment because new dollars are flowing in and are paying providers differently in this space. But it's late in the game. So Bassfield, who you just heard from, said that this issue is just going to go on for a while, that it's also causing trauma for these kids. And part of the reason she said that the state lost a thousand beds over the last 10 years is because of the funding model here. And it's all related to issues with financial incentives, issues with insurance, as well as funneling tax dollars towards this problem, Kyle. You know, Anusha, I feel like you taught us during the pandemic that a bed without trained staff to care for the people in it is just furniture. It's not really helpful. Yeah, and everyone we talked to today said that is going to be the biggest challenge. Even if this bill gets passed, if you don't have the people to take care of these kids, what is the point of all of it? So it's actually a part of a group of bills that would, if it's approved, use some federal dollars to fund. And the idea is to then train and educate people within the communities that are getting these additional beds and start building a pipeline of more staff so that there is someone to take care of these children. All right, Anusha, thank you.